So as you all know, Black Friday well, it just happened yesterday, and as you know, many malls were packed, um, people were shopping, and many of malls are, they had a lot of customers and stuff in the malls, and uh, yeah, and also there was a mall shooting too at the, at the Mills of Jersey Gardens, but I'm not going to go into detail about that today. So yes, malls were packed, people were shopping and stuff and getting stuff, but there was one store located in Lodi, New Jersey that wasn't so packed. I mean, it, it was packed, but... There was not much. There was not that much inventory left. So today we're going to be going over the update about National Wholesale Liquidators liquidation sale. Now, yes, as a lot of you know, uh, National Wholesale Liquidators burned down back in 1997. The building was rebuilt and it, and it opened back up in 1999. So after a uh, 19 almost 20 year run uh, in Lodi, New Jersey, National Wholesale Liquidators filed for bankruptcy back in October and announced that it would be shutting down all of its stores and, and the company would be liquidating all of its assets. Uh, the final day for the store, I actually just visited it, it yesterday. Uh, the final day for the store will be Monday, November 26th, 2018. The final day was supposed to be um, just January 1st of 2019. Unfortunately, uh, due to the people coming into the store and taking away all the inventory and uh, buying it up, this store is actually closing earlier than expected. Um, and I'll go over the replacement uh, for this store in a moment here. So um, I'm going to show you guys. This is an article here. I believe North Jersey is going to make an article soon. They're probably going to wait till Monday, I would assume. Uh, there really is no point to make one now. But yes, this is this is my photo. This is this was uh, part of the store. I mean, this is this is really the only inventory left um, on the second floor. I did not take pictures on the first floor um, only because I. Um, did not want to take any pictures and there was people down there and I just wanted to get pictures of the emptiness but uh, you can see on the second floor here at uh, National Wholesale Liquidators um, they're pretty much just done and even the food store there's nothing left the food store might actually close early um, it might close tomorrow uh, today and, and then they might just close that off and just keep people in the actual store so we'll, well that'll be interesting to see I'm not gonna go back but obviously I wanted to show you guys what the final urban is, is of this store and yes guys you bet I definitely filmed both of those uh, garden stained hydraulic elevators right down there along with the um, LG escalators as well so this is actually the only inventory left on the second floor now if you take a look um, at the first floor you can see that there is I mean the other part of the second floor you can see that the second floor um, beyond the escalators is basically just wiped clean. I mean, all it really is, it's it's literally just fixture sales um, for new stores. And this in itself is really sad for a lot of these uh, low-end people who really couldn't go to the big shopping malls and they can only afford what was at uh, National Wholesale Liquidators. Um, but to me, it's really no loss. I mean, I really never cared for the store. <laughs> I really didn't buy a lot here. Um, but, you know, like little things for people that don't make a lot of money, this was like their place to go. So now a lot of people are going to have to go to like uh, Walmart or something like that. And, uh, you know, it's just, I mean, it's really sad to see these people going. I've filmed the, I've filmed the elevators here many times and the escalators too are very rare. Uh, LG escalators are a very rare thing to find. So I think that's what I'm, I'm mostly sad about. I'm more sad about the escalators than the elevators, honestly. And that's actually interesting for me, but they're just more rare in garden state. It's just like, you know, third party crap. So anyways, um, so basically the description here, Black Friday at National Wholesale Liquidators, so basically, um, Lodi's National Wholesale Liquidators was nearly empty on Black Friday. So there was nobody there, except if you were downstairs. There was actually people downstairs, more so downstairs than upstairs. Um, and the retailer will shut will shut for good on Monday. Uh, the only other New Jersey location is in Jersey City, and they had closing sales all month long. Um, and then it's just National Wholesale Liquidators. It just basically just says, like, discount merchandise, furniture, clothing, watches, vacuums, and much more. So... Um, so you can clearly see a lot of people are very uh, mourned by the loss of national wholesale liquidators. Um, and, you know, I think what's going to happen with this uh, space in particular, and I'm going to go over that in a minute. So I, th I think what's going to happen is you, you basically you see this um, right over here. There's this little strip mall that uh, Urban Eng, I believe, owns. Um, so I think what's going to happen is they're going to basically expand that strip mall, they're, they're gonna they're gonna knock down the old uh, liquidators building. Um, five guys would probably relocate to the new strip mall um, so that it get so that they have the ability uh, to rebuild this whole building into a strip mall to connect to this existing strip mall. And it kind of makes sense too because I don't see anything else going in uh, National Wholesale Liquidators. It's just I don't see another retailer moving in. It's a very small space. 
you know, and it's kind of like Party Box, where I think Party Box will become like a distribution center. And I think National Wholesale Liquidators, because of its location on Route 17, will most likely become a like a strip mall, um, expanding from this existing strip mall all the way to the end here. And they'll probably clean this up and stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, so that is basically what's going to happen. Uh, my prediction was going to happen with National Wholesale Liquidators. Five guys will remain. Um, and I believe whatever that flower place is might remain too, but they might be closing as well. But five guys will remain um, after liquid liquidators goes out. But liquidators, but the, the businesses that are getting cut are li national wholesale liquidators and the international food house and liquor warehouse. So those those are getting cut. Five guys will remain. And as for the flower shop, I don't know. But anything here is getting cut uh, as of Monday. So I'm not going to show the street view. You guys pretty much saw the video, but I just wanted to give you guys an update about national wholesale liquidators. Um, rest in peace, 1999 to 2018, 20 years of being on uh, New Jersey State Route 17 North, right near Essex Street. Um, as for the employees, I wish them best of the luck of transferring to a new job, um, and best of luck to all the management at this store for finding new jobs. Anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. If you guys want to check out all the National Wholesale Liquidators videos, make sure to check out the channel. I've got the final elevator ride. Um, the final escalator ride, and also some footage from around, from, footage and pictures from around the store as well. So make sure to check that out as well. So anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Make sure to check the links in the description below, and that's it.